Rejoice always, pray constantly, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Otena Koto, good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday. Uh, it's great to join with you and uh, welcome you uh, wherever you are and at whatever time of day uh, you're tuning in to watch this prayer time. I do pray that as you join in you may know the presence of God surrounding you and equipping you uh, for your daily life. We're on page uh, 74 of our New Zealand prayer book for Wednesday morning. We say now the words from the Song of Tobit. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who rules over all. We give thanks to you, O Lord, before the nations, for you have scattered us among them. There we make your greatness known and exalt you in the presence of all the living. Because you are the Lord our God, you are our Father forever. When we turn to you with all our heart and soul to do what is true before you, then you will turn to us and hide your face from us no longer. Consider now the deeds that God has done for you and give thanks to God with a full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the ruler of the ages. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 6, and we begin today at verse 60. So this follows on from our previous two days when Jesus uh, calls people to follow him and say to, that they must eat of his flesh uh, to be his disciples. On hearing it, many of his disciples said, This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said, Does this offend you? Then what if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? The Spirit gives life and the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. From this time many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You know, do you want to leave too? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? For you have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus replied, Have I not chosen you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, who, though one of the twelve, was later to betray him. This is the Gospel of Christ. So let us praise Christ the Word. I love your words of Peter. Lord, to whom would we go? For you have the words of eternal life. So we come now to the words of the living hope, which are taken from the first book of First Peter, chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whose great mercy we have been born anew, born to a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, born to an inheritance which will never perish or wither away, one that is kept in heaven for us. By God's power we are guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed at the end of time. We rejoice in this, though now we suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of our faith, more precious than gold that is tested by fire, may result in praise and glory and honour at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We take time now to pray and to offer God thanks for our lives. Gracious God, we thank you for our life and the call you have for each of us to follow you. We thank you for those words we just read from 1 Peter chapter 1. We pray and we ask and we give thanks that the genuineness of our faith, which is more precious than gold that is tested by fire, may result in praise and glory and honour at the revelation of Christ Jesus. So we pray, gracious God, for you to strengthen our faith, our resolve to follow you and to be all that you call us to be. We ask that you give us strength today to be your disciples, to follow you, to be the light of the world. So God, would you give us grace to follow you today. In Christ's name. Amen. Gracious God, we ask that you would help us to be aware of you in our daily lives. Uh, you are so close, you dwell within by your Holy Spirit. So in our daily life today, help us to be aware of your presence surrounding us. And in that presence, may we be able to reach out with greater compassion to all those people around us that that love within you may extend to the love for others. God, we ask that you help us and all those in authority uh, to be just and caring in our needs and what we do today, that the decisions we make may not deprive others of air and food, of water, shelter, or the chance to live. And particularly we give thanks for the City Mission and other aid agencies working within Wellington who seek to bring life and dignity to those who have, are not able to meet their own needs at this time. Lord, help us to reach out and to be strength and love to those around us today. God, we pray for those who are sick and struggling with life today. Uh, we pray for those who have terminal illness and for whom there is no hope of recovery. Uh, God, we pray for your hope. We pray that we pray for them and that they may find hope and light in you. We pray for those for whom life is hard and for who are just so over resourced, overstretched. And so we pray for them that you would uh, just be with them and help them to make good decisions today. Pray for employers who are, who are causing people to be overstretched. And we pray that you may just work within their hearts uh, to create just and um, safe workplaces. Pray for those who are feeling worn out and that you may give them grace to find rest and hope. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who have died. Uh, we acknowledge them and we ask you to bless their families and bring hope and healing in their time of distress. And finally, we pray for our own needs, those issues that surround us, which challenge us, some of those things which we even struggle to face. Be with us this day and keep us in your love. Uh, that we may face those issues that are around us and that we may be strength to others in that process. So lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Let us go from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world and our universe. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
and save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O God, you are the author of peace and your love, you are the lover of concord. To know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, in every stress and danger, that we may trust in your defence, that we may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So may the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. I well, pray that God may bless you and be with you in this day. Amen.